Welcome to the video where you guys are going to learn how to create your best weight combo for a Beyblade. So, uh, as in the name of the Beyblade kid, you'd probably expect me to do only Beyblade battles or Beyblade related stuff. So we are going to be relating to Beyblade, but we're going to be using science to make the heaviest Beyblade combo possible. So, first of all, let's get on to the four main things we need to talk about. First of all, we're going to need to find out which material is the best. So, we have plastic. We have metal, we have POM, which I don't have, but uh, POM is a material used on some drivers to help increase its, uh, well, resistance from losing spin. And we have rubber, so rubber parts are also good, but which one's the heaviest? Obviously metal, so we're going to be getting the best parts for this. And also, uh, if you guys are wondering where I'm getting all this from, these are all my babes, so this is about 7 pounds of Beyblade right here. Uh, you guys don't need to have this, but just letting you know. Alright, so, uh, obviously, we're gonna need some heavyweight parts. So, guilty longness is the part I'm gonna get for my layer, as guilty longness weighs a very heavy amount. So, pretty much we're gonna be using that. Alright, and after that, we're gonna be using other parts to create even more weight. So, um, it turned out, guys... We're not going to have a weight machine because I've already tested the weight. And uh, here's the thing. This combo is going to weigh an uh, insane amount. And I'll show you the final like, parts and then you'll uh, tell the weight. Alright. So, uh, I'm going to start off by grabbing Guilty Longinus, like I said. Now, I would recommend getting a heavy DB disc. So, you can grab Over or Giga. Which, those are the two heaviest discs at the moment. I'm going to be grabbing over the second I find it, and why over? I recommend that, but it's a little bit heavier, and I'm a little bit more in the shape of what I would like to use. Also guys, while you're at it, grab these rip fire discs, because these are going to be really useful for this. So, uh, yeah, I'm recording this right now, and uh, yeah guys, don't be me, always prepare before you record. So this is the over disc. Now, what is going to be the heaviest driver I thought of? Well, I had to think of between these two. Uh, there is the heaviest driver right now, which weighs 16 grams. It's high charge, it's high charge DAS, I'm pretty sure. Metal high charge DAS. And uh, right here, I have a drift from flame, so it has metal plate, so it's a little heavier. We have high extent plus dash, which is also a really heavy part. However, I just, drift just takes over. So, uh, we're going to be grabbing the over disc, and you place this on. And also, guys... This is not too much of a modification video. However, it is cool. Now, right here, we have Guilty Longness. We're gonna switch this into our uh, high mode. So that way it connects it properly. Now, it's gonna be a little snug, but you're gonna fit this right in here. And then you grab the drift driver and just tightly push it in. Sometimes it's not that tight. So yeah, this is it. This combo already weighs about 75 grams, but you'd think we're done. However, we also have this metal piece. So, I'm going to attach that on the bottom, so it doesn't fit easily right now. So that's why I say burst it, place this metal on the bottom, then lock it up. Wow. Now this combo weighs an impressive 125 grams, or about that much. So, yeah, if you're wondering, does it spin? Because, like, obviously that's a key factor. It spins, but it scrapes a lot. As you can see, it completely died. So, uh, this is a pretty packed combo. I mean, look at the side. Metal, metal, and metal. Uh, here's the thing. Sadly, all my string launchers are broken, but my hand is not. So, uh, in this very small view that you guys have, JK, um, we're going to be doing a quick test battle just to see, uh, how it does. Or, I mean, I haven't tested it yet, so I'm curious as well. So... We're gonna grab, let's say, uh, let's just grab a normal Beyblade, uh, something small to test it on, and random parts. Alright, so, right here we have Giga Gainon, the 8 dash disc with Metal Destroy. Alright, so let's see how this does. Uh, I can only hand spin this base, so yeah. That looks menacing. Alright, ready? 3, 2, 1, oh wait. Guys, make sure that your launchers are locked in the right place. Mine is in less spin. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go. Maybe not. M maybe not. Okay. Uh, 
long as the string is great. Uh, yeah, all right, three times. Yeah, pretty bad at attacking without launchers, but hey, that's pretty much all I have at the moment, Joe. But yeah, you can try to launch it, but I think it's that easy to, in fact, the hand spins better. So yeah, that's pretty much the combo. Let's do one more test battle, uh, hand spin, of course, but uh, let's see how well it does. Three, two, one, go shoot. Wow, it hits pretty hard. All right, so uh, this is the best way to get the heaviest combo. You guys shouldn't see outside the desk, okay? This is the best combo for weight. And yeah, thanks for watching this video. Subscribe for all these metal dragon heads. He's looking right at you, all of them. All of them are looking right at you. All right, so subscribe and help the channel get to its peak at 100 subscribers. <laughs> Or get us even higher. Thank you. And long as will be spun for your enjoyment. Thank you for watching today's video, guys. Uh, yeah. So many little details and everything. Alright, so thank you for watching today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I'll catch you all later. Enjoy the rest of your days.